My skull saw. Many weeks now. Used it a few times. Um, still not bolted it down yet. Not got to that stage yet. Not had time yet. But now it's time I did because I want to start getting some serious work done. I've got many projects um, that I've got set up, or one main big project set up, waiting for it to be finished. Um, and I don't want it shaking all over the place. So I want it on a stand, bolted down. So now is the time for me to make a good stand for my EX21. Um, typically these things are heavy on the vibration because of their action. Uh, this being this model being one of the smoother ones, still you're going to get it. So you want something that's going to anchor it down. So typically we bolt them down good and solid to the bench or something. Unfortunately, I need my mobile because of the situation where it's going to be. I just don't have space um, and I don't want it to take up space. Uh, so moving it around is the only option for me. So what I've got to do is come up with something big enough, mobile enough, to keep it moving and solid. Yeah. Okay, so there's a contradiction in terms. I've come up with some ideas. I've been playing around with some um, little methods of working out how to do things. Um, and this is what I have to do. Right, so by putting everything into place um, and just testing it, it gives me an idea of um, what I want and what I'm looking for, the shapes and such, and from that I can then take all the measurements needed and draw what I intend to make. So, what I end up with, once I've got all the measurements I want, I can put them onto the joint. For scale it's just a sketch but reasonably close to scale okay so this is the stand for the saw we have a height of 560 at that point there and then at this point here we've got a height of 460 this a height of 400 the gap between 400 this here also 400 but the length of this straight length so we're going there to there will be 430. Just big enough for the machine to fit on. That is the bolt part of the machine, not the overhang part of the back. Just the bolted part. So we've got here the box that the saw sits on. The box that I sit on. Now I want to make it into one unit and I want it on wheels. And I don't want it looking like a box. So, what I want to do is get rid of some of the corners and give it some shape. So I'll start off with, to join the two together, we need connection. So let's round this, bring it down and connect it. Let's swoop in and come up and give it there, yeah? Bit of nice shape there. Possibly a bit more. There, that's it. That's a nice shape there. And let's whip that back off of there and all. We don't need that there like that. There we go. Wheels can sit there. Very nicely. Um, nice shape at the front there. That's good. The back here. We want to keep the wheels there. So let's just belly this out of it. There. Rounding that over. Rounding that over. We've got some shape. Now then. There we want... A thick top for the machine to bolt to. There I want the top for me to sit on. And here, let's take that out and off. Okay, there. 
and there. We want the base piece there, a base piece there. Um, inside, down there, this is going to be two pieces, obviously, a left and a right side, and then to join them together, all I'm going to do is put a piece there, uh, a piece hmm, there, and a piece there. That will give me the strength. Remember, we've got a base here already, so that will give us strength there. And we could probably touch them together just to give us a little bit more rigidity. Rigidity. A little bit more rigidity. And again, we could put a piece in there. These are dividers inside. We won't see them. And we can hollow them out if we want. And we can hollow this out some more if we want. But as basic shape is that. So our saw table will be shaped. making it all out of three-quarter plywood so it'll be good and solid and probably very heavy and um, I, I want it upstairs when I've finished and um, so I will make it in section take it up and assemble it up there first off let's get a first piece cut one first side to shape and test it and just again make sure we're totally happy with the size of the seat the height of the seat the position the angle everything and then we can cut the second one Okay, now the first thing we're going to have to do is um, transfer them measurements and the design in total onto a much bigger board, one that will be the actual size I'm going to be making. Here's one such piece. <coughs> one cut edge there. Okay, um, as total is 1100 by 560 which is the height. Um, there, there. Now what I'll do is I'll rip it down giving it all my straight edges first which there ain't that many as you'll see from the design. Um, so we get all my straight edges done first then I can take it over to the bandsaw um, and start forming all them very interesting shapes. Uh, here I want five Okay, that's my basic layout there. Everything is looking good. So, um, I'll whip this through on the saw table, get the bulk of it out of the way, and then we'll get to the bandsaw.
and that angle worked out very nicely. Okay, that's all the square cuts done. Now to the dance off. Interesting. to do, but cleaned up to, um, but that should be the exact measurements that I needed. Um, highest point was 56, and that is 56, lowest point there, from the floor, should be 46. <laughs> yes, everything is exactly like that. 400, good. Okay, so, like I say now, I need to make another one of these, then I shall make a flat top there and a flat top there. That will strengthen it up. Um, at the bottom, there and there, 250 mil again, flat pieces. Um, then ones will be inset. Um, and then of course, I will have some inside just to strengthen it up and stop any twist and add to it to its strength but so far it's looking like quite a small compact item now what i want to do just to give it that illusion of floating is on the base i'm going to set in i've got 50 mil casters coming i'm going to set a base in here 40 mil both sides so the casters are going to disappear into the base it's 400 mil wide so it's quite a width there so there'll be no problem with that um, but having them hidden away inside will just make it look like it's sitting there you won't see the wheels and it'll move everywhere um, a couple of them are lockable I'll be sitting on it I don't need it lockable so it's not going to get away from me because I'm sitting on it right make another one of them um, and then we can start with the cross members